Welcome to MB Shoe Dock, where we explore the world of quality dress shoes for men. We will cover the art of patina and shine, learn to care for our shoes, review the brands that you love, and introduce brands that you've never heard of. Got another exciting project here. This is on a pair of Santonis. Italian shoes. These are really, I find these to be uh, quite beautiful as they are. This is an absolutely brand new and absolutely beautiful pair. So, we're looking at uh, trying to change these to something a little more versatile for him, more of a mid brown color. If a lot of color comes off, if they'll lighten up a good bit, we should be able to do anything we want with it. So, using some acetone, a little cotton ball here. Start by trying to strip some of this finish off. Hoping to get it to a really pale color, like a taupey gray. Maybe there's some tan uh, kind of base leather underneath this. And actually before I try to strip the rest I'm going to insert some shoe trees. We're going to pause it here. Alright, these are shoe trees from my friends over at Fintico. I like to use their uh, colored laces on some of my restorations and things, but they do uh, shoot trees as well now, so it's pretty cool. So a little shout out to them. The shoe tree, it helps uh, just by giving me a more firm surface to, to be able to try to strip against. So I'm pushing on it, and it'll help to prevent creating any, any creases or anything as we go here. You can see this is lightening up uh, pretty well. So I think it's going to be no problem to go brown with it, to go to a mid brown. It's getting light enough that you could really do almost any color that you want. So you can start to see the difference here pretty well. Definitely a lot lighter there on the vamp. Toes doing a little kind of funny area with uh, almost like a water stain here. So that's going to take a little bit more time to get that uh, lightened up and evened up. Sometimes I find that I have to do a little steel wool or something like that to lighten up. But we're going to pause it there, get this one stripped the rest of the way. Trying to show you one more difference. I'm going to look at the difference. So this one's been uh, pretty well stripped. Probably got a little tiny bit left to do. Uh, but this one, the original color, so quite a bit darker here. Uh, this, yeah, really should be able to do any kind of patina we want. So we'll get them both uh, stripped up and then ready to go to add some dye. And we're actually going to be going brown with these. So first, we've got to get a lighter kind of yellowish base coat. So I'm using Fibing's Beige. I really like this for a base coat. use it in a lot of my patinas, like on walnut strands, things like that. Let's see how this does. I didn't want to use pure yellow because I afraid it would be a little too yellowy. This has got a little bit more of a brown tone and it's very pale. Look at that. I think that's going to work out pretty great. I mean, that really, really changes the entire tone 
of the shoe here. So that uh, that works maybe even uh, better than expected, honestly. That just looks good. So look at that. I mean, it would be tough to even believe that these are the same shoe and that this thing was dark, uh, dark gray just a moment ago. Really, really impressed again with how that uh, took the die. So we're gonna let this sit overnight. We'll be doing some custom burnishing, but I think this is uh, a good base tone. I'm gonna set that one off to the side. Let's get this other one done here. Once again, previously gray pairs now have a light brown base. And we will continue tomorrow. We're going to let this sit overnight. Might recondition the leather afterwards. Right, continuing my work on these Santonis. And if you call, these were originally a smoky gray. Um, Angelus Brown. This is what I'm going to use to start adding some burnishing here. I had tried a little bit with the light brown, really did not like the tone of it. A little bit too orangey. And so I'm going back and going with this regular brown from Angelus.
Continuing with this Santoni, I am finished with the dye work, very happy with this color. Just such an interesting tone that came out um, because of the gray leather underneath. It's just a very unique color. I don't know if the camera will even be able to capture it, but it's just very different. I love it. I don't think I could reproduce this color exactly on a tan shoe. It's just the fact of this kind of gray undertones you know, really subtly shining through in a few places. It, it just looks uh, pretty awesome. Um, so, done with the dye work, it is time to recondition. So I'm using BIC 4. I like this uh, conditioner the best if you wanting to preserve the color and not change it. So BIC 4 tends to keep colors the most natural. Now, right here, it darkened up a little bit. It's because the leather was pretty dry there. Once it, um, once the uh, lotion kind of soaks in and dries up a little bit, it will not be that dark on the toe. Anytime you're doing um, dye work, the, the dye on top, you know, when it's uh, kind of dry, has a, a hazy look to it. So you can't tell the true color until after you recondition like this. So sometimes I will. Uh, recondition in the middle of the kind of dyeing process just to be able to see the color a little more accurately. Sometimes I think I'm done applying dye until I see what it really looks like underneath and then it's like oh no it's too dark, too light or you know, something different than what I thought and so then I have to adjust slightly. Usually it's just slightly though. But yeah, I'm still very happy with this, uh, with this tone, very unique color. So at this point, uh, kind of reconditioned, got that surface dye off, let that sit for a minute and then we will just give them a good brushing. Probably going to apply a little bit of uh, cream polish and give them a soft shine. Uh, this client does not like mirror shine. Um, just going to do a soft shine with some cream polish and these will be ready to go. I am looking at using a little light brown, sphere cream, just getting a little dab on my fingertip here. So this will help to seal in some color and It'll slightly warm up the tone as well. A few areas where maybe I feel like it's slightly too uh, yellow looking. So add a little bit more of that uh, kind of orangey pigment. Not much, you know, it's not enough to recolor the shoe, but it just kind of adjust the tone slightly and it'll add a little bit of a soft shine that's what we're going for all right we're gonna let that sit a minute and we'll brush them off and then i might add a little bit more uh, with the dark brown, and I think that'll just about do it for us. Uh, but yeah, looking pretty good here so far.
just love how Saphir polish, cream polish, adds just a nice soft glow. Just a very nice soft shine on these. Again, the uh, client doesn't want a mirror shine, but I think this gives it uh, uh, just the perfect amount of uh, sheen to the leather. It really looks nice. So the last thing, I'm going to take this dark brown and similarly use it just to kind of adjust the tone a little bit. You know, kind of darken this, burnish this toe up a little, fade it up a little bit more too. So again, it's not enough to recolor the shoe, but just add a little accents. Overall, I'm absolutely thrilled with the way this turned out, this color. Um, hard to believe that these were gray initially. Um, this is probably one of my favorite patinas that I've done. Absolutely love the way these uh, turned out. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share, and there'll be plenty more excitement to come. Uh, probably one of the next things that I work on will be a crust leather pair, so that'll be fun and exciting. So stay tuned.